So we're not going to do a regular intro. I know everyone is surprised to see us together. If you would have asked me this probably about a week or two ago, I probably would have told you it wouldn't be able to happen. Mm -hmm. Us as individuals, um, us as a couple, we're basically showing, we're basically doing this video to be able to explain to everybody what's been going on with us. And clear the air. As me, as Michelle, and just give you guys a brief little update as far as we know what we're going to be doing in terms of the channel, in terms of our relationship, mm -hmm. our family. So just stay tuned. Make sure that you watch the full video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and you turn on those post notifications so you're notified every single time when we drop another one of our videos. And be sure to follow us on all our other social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff will be down in the description below. Just to start off, um, I'll reiterate what I, start, what I said in my video for myself. This is not a prank. This was not um, a staged breakup no. or anything of that nature. It's very much real. It's very much what we have been going through. We just decided to bring you guys along for the ride on this. It just so happens that we we started doing YouTube during the time where things just got crazy. Because if we weren't on YouTube and we didn't have the supporters in the family like you guys, we would have never put it out there like that. Or I'm sure, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be something to announce, but being that we, this is what we do, we're in the eye of everybody, we, you know, it was we important. To, yeah, we decided to share um, what we were going through, how we felt, and just so that you guys would not be in limbo or just, you know, somewhere in the middle. To touch base on what Eddie said about the prank thing, I went on live the other day just to clear the air and a lot of you guys were like, you don't owe us, you know, you don't have to explain yourself. You're right, I don't. But again, being that we have this relationship with you guys and I could have just played it off like everything was all good and dandy, but then you wouldn't have seen Eddie in the videos. So then I would have been getting those comments anyway. Those questions and all that. So I figured why not sum it up in a video so that those questions stop being asked because they do get annoying after a while. But they were still asked. And they still were asking the same things and they still, a few people were thinking it was a prank, but if you think about it, nobody who really loves each other is gonna play about their relationship. Yes, we have done pranks. Yes, we do stupid things to each other. It's all for entertainment, but when it comes to our relationship, we're married. Yeah. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend, we're married. We got married in the church in the house of the Lord. Why would we make it a prank and drag it out for almost two weeks? Don't you think that's, we're losing money that way? Don't you think it's affecting our children? Don't you think it's affecting just our household in general? Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. So you need to rethink about those that thought that and said rude comments. Yeah. You need to think about what you said. I'm sure there's been many times in your life or your relationship that things went crazy. And maybe this is, basically this was the equivalent to speaking about it with your family members. We call you exactly. them fam because you guys are fam. The same way that you wouldn't, th your family member would, you wouldn't want your family member to think different if you were talking about your significant other that you were having issues or you guys were having ups and downs. Yeah, and they were like, oh, you're Same lying, thing. blah, 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 blah. That wouldn't make you feel too good. No. At the end of the day, it, 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 it bothered me for a second, but then I was like, I know the truth. When you're real and you're transparent all the time and we uh, gave that to you guys, it doesn't matter what people think. You just keep pushing. So we wanted to come on here to let you guys know that to clear the air. Everything I said in that video, it was strong, what I felt. Um... Eddie and I definitely had to take a break. We definitely needed space from one another. We definitely couldn't think clearly with each other in the same household, so we did what we thought was best. It gave me time to find myself, even though it's been about little, maybe about two weeks, a little under, but just time for myself and not having him there, it really made me realize what I want, what I need, and what I will accept and what I won't accept. So. Even though we weren't in the same household, eventually we did have to speak. We did speak. It's important to speak. Just because you have a breakup with somebody, the way we handle it, I feel is, is very mature because most people don't speak. They don't speak. They move on. They change their phone number. They do all that other stuff. But we were able to speak even though it wasn't the best when we first were speaking because we still were a little bit angry with one another. But we're here. We're here. We're being upfront with you guys. We're here now. Once again. Yeah, we're here sitting next to uh, each other is definitely a big deal. It's a big step. It's a big step for... I'm going to say this. We're showing this. We're, view, we're letting you guys view this. But this is a big step for us to even do this. Because yeah. to be honest, where we were, 
like she said, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Listen, this went from being my love, my best friend, my right hand to, you know, somebody who I thought I wouldn't even be able to be in the same room with because we were that upset. We were that angry. It the, was unbelievable. The way that she was, yeah. You know, and it's it's also like an age old quote, you mm -hmm. know, the same way that you're you're able to love somebody that deeply and that that real and that that true, that true love and on the flip side. You're going to hate that. If you ever have to hate that person or if you ever do hate that person, it's going to be the same exact severity as it was that you love. Yeah. A part of me definitely did feel those emotions because I was looking at somebody who I didn't recognize. Oh. I didn't recognize who Eddie was. He was the complete opposite of who I first met and I just, I couldn't deal with that. We were not treating each other right. We were not treating each other how we should be. Forget the marriage. We weren't respecting each other and we just had to grow up. There's certain things that you need to, to understand about a person. There's certain things that you can't do. There's certain things that is just not accepted. And we have to understand that we can't be just for self. We have to understand where the other person's coming from in certain situations. And you have different um, frustrations mm -hmm. and different stresses in life. And we just... Also another thing for us that we were doing to each other was... You know, as Michelle said, she didn't recognize me. I didn't recognize her. Mm -hmm. So it went from almost like there was a mirror because we were like the same exact person mm -hmm. to now we were, you know, growing apart instead of growing together. So we kind of had to recalibrate just a little bit, think about things, think about what was best for me, what was best for her. I had to do my own soul searching as well as she did. Mm -hmm. You know, we did our own we did it more of emotional distancing yeah. <laughs> rather than social distancing. Yeah, and it wasn't easy because, like, I know you guys know, and if you have a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, when you invest your time in somebody for a long time and you do everything with them, your life becomes them. So when they're not there anymore, it's like, oh, shit. Like, What is life? What do, what is, what do I do today? What do I do today? So it was hard for me to, you know... Get through the day so I stay busy and also during those times I was, I had a clear mind because it was so much tension in us just being, mm -hmm. it was hectic in the household. It was hectic when you have a, your mind is flooded and it's like that, you can't think clear. Oh. Your words won't come out clear, your actions will be crazy. The so. actions will be something that you don't even recognize. You'll become a completely different person. Life will take you, um, even survival will take you. Yep. So I feel like in a lot of ways, that's that's where we were. Mm -hmm. That's where we were at, at the time. We decided to both migrate and maneuver together. We're, like we said, we're taking it day by day. We're taking baby steps. Um, this being one of them because YouTube, like we said, even when we first started YouTube, we still had like you know a little a little static a little mm -hmm. little issues here and there so i feel like that's where we messed up at i wasn't looking at it like that but we did have a little bit of static and some issues that weren't resolved and we jumped into something like this when we weren't 100 percent good so it made it easier to just i don't know and again it has nothing to do with the pranks because people were saying it was the pranks oh, no. the pranks and all that stuff did not affect our relationship when we when we decided to do this we knew what it was going to be about. We knew that it was going to be pranks involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, we know that it's not real. So that has nothing to do with it. When we turned the camera off, it had everything to do with when we turned that with camera that, off. How happy or how miserable or how unhappy we were and at the time. Yeah, you saw us, you know, well, I would yeah. never expect that because you guys look great on the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our job. Things look great. That's our job. You see people in the movies when they're doing certain scenes. Maybe they don't want to do those scenes, but they got to do what they got to do. You don't know what somebody's going through just because you see them smiling on the camera. I can't speak for Michelle, but I mean, I know when I did mine, mm -hmm. where I was speaking about us, mm -hmm. it was very hard for me to even get through. I had to cut because I was just getting too emotional. And even after I cut off the camera before, you know, the editing even started or anything, I was, you know, I was in tears because this is not something that I wanted. I can speak for myself when I say that, but it was just something that was necessary. It was something that was needed. Sometimes you have to do things that are needed. Um, we both spoke about being and dealing with uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. This is something that's different and something that's foreign for us. I feel like we adapted well. We just needed a little bit of time to be able to, okay, this is what we should be doing and this is how we should be moving 
and we should be moving as a unit and be moving together rather than moving as one separate person caring about her needs and one separate person here caring about my needs. And that's the case, and we might as well just go our own way. Yeah. But, you know, we just want to declare the air with that. This is, we are here. No. Eddie and Michelle is back in the building. We here, we here. We, we, we love you too, and the channel didn't, just didn't feel right without Eddie, and it wouldn't feel right without me. You know, and I've seen the comments. We thank you for all the lovely comments, but sometimes you just got to take a break. Um, the channel was going to stay up even if we weren't together, and I decided, or he decided it was just best we parted ways. Um, it was going to stay Eddie and Michelle. You know, and that's that's one thing that we realize, even in the most, the darkest of hours that I guess I felt. Mm -hmm. I still knew that this, what I was doing with myself or succeeding in life, moving along in life, it wouldn't work without you. It wouldn't work without her. So I, I agree with everything you're saying, but I will say one thing. To the people watching, to the fans, to e and fam, we love you. We appreciate you. We're not trying to throw you for a loop. If we needed a break, we would have let you guys know. Oh, yeah. Like, some, and yeah, we always keep it real with you. We listen, don't need to do this for nothing. Like We don't need to do it. For, and you know what? Here's another thing, too. I saw this. We're not doing it for clout. We don't believe in clout. You know why? We really. You guys got us to the point where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. You guys are the clout. We are the clout. We, we don't need to go chasing anyone else's. Or we don't need to do anything for views. Yes. We didn't need to do this. We didn't have to. Hell, I would have. I would have rather... Or I would have I would have rather just been honest with you guys and taken a little break if that's what we needed. That's not what we needed. We needed a break from each other. And in the process, our videos, our content, our actual job and our life suffered. So we, definitely we, did. we took just as much of a hit as you guys did when everybody was heartbroken. I read a lot of the comments. Thank you for all of the prayers and all the love. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I couldn't even get to all of the comments. Yeah, it was it couldn't. was so many. I tried to like you know like them and stuff like that. But it's all it's all appreciated. Um, things happen in life for a reason. It happens to the best of us, you know. And you know we're learning each other each and every day. We we we're trying to to move forward and not repeat the same steps. When you're with somebody, you're supposed to love them and not hurt them. So. You know, we have a lot of learning to do, but we do want to get back to this YouTube thing. We want to keep giving y'all content, so y'all already know what that means. You and know? don't be afraid either, though, because we say that we're going to give y'all content, we're getting back to YouTube, but at the same time, we're also going to be getting back to us. Us being us. So when we cut off that camera, we still going to be in love. When we cut off that camera, we're still going to have the same dynamic that we have if it was cut on and the record was going. So I don't want, you know, that's another thing. I don't want anybody to think that we're just, now we're just business partners. No, we, we couldn't even do that. We couldn't be fake like that for y'all. Any other reason, but we're trying to show people that you can do everything that we're doing mm -hmm. and still do what you want to do, how you want to do it. We're trying to help people. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be there for people. Um, without even trying, we're being examples. We're being goals. We've got a lot of relationship goal um, comments and things like that. I was like, We wow. love that. We appreciate that. That's motivation. That was motivation and every kind word. All the as, prayers. At, and the prayers as well as the negative criticism, as well as the doubt and the suspicion of whether or not this was fake. I get it because that was a trend. I get it. I, I get it too because you know what? That That is that's something that a lot of YouTubers do and they run out of content. And I feel like that's bad luck and that's jinxing your, your relationship. So, to sum it up, we didn't do that. We, we're real. We don't we don't have time to play games on, mm -mm. on on the web, on the internet, or social media just, just for views. That's Drag stupid. each other through the mud for Listen, that. for all that, I might as well just go... OnlyFans? OnlyFans page Only if I right? want to get my views up, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, nah, I ain't doing that. Never do that. But, um, but yeah, so that basically sums up the video. So, we're back. We um, look forward to, you know, making more videos for y'all and getting back to where we were one day at a time. We love you guys. We thank you for everything. Make sure to follow us on all the social medias. Follow Eddie on his YouTube channel. Shout out to Eddie for getting to a thousand subscribers. A thousand plus subscribers. I, I, I was on the road, but I didn't know I was on the road. Keep going. And shout out to me. I'm and shout out to Babe. I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys more content over there, but we're gonna stop rambling. That's basically it We got some things that we want to do, but we wanted to shoot this video for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day Thank, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Peace